Three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of User Friendly, the friendliest, friendliest podcast, podcast in the world. world. Yeah. Yeah. You thought you could kill us out? Eat. Find a new space? New space. Yeah. How was everybody's week? Man. You had a pretty eventful event. Y- yeah. It's kind of funny that. Uh, every time I record, I forget what even happened this week, but my mm-hmm. room's still a mess. I have to honestly clean up my room today for sure. Um, I got a lot of bullshit in there. Um, everything is everywhere all at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, How'd yeah. you do? Did yeah, you, so the uh, event was it was really cool. Do you um, consider it a success? I mean, financially, yeah. Nice. I guess. That's the best way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I mean... It was cool, like for one you day. You made your money back. Yeah, I made my money back. I mean, oh. could probably like I'm trying to. I want to open up a new like bank account for my stuff, so I don't like touch the money. Mm-hmm. But like, I found it hard to like find the banking place that does free checking. But anyways, uh, we'll get into it later. Yeah, sure. yeah. So the event was great. We could talk about that later too. But it was a great experience. Um, shout out to you know market. the market, the market, um, retro future. That's his puzzle name. box nice yeah they they do like they're like all related i think but yeah shout out to them it was cool a lot of people came out i got burnt if you don't if you haven't noticed look at my look at the back of my neck no sunscreen dude i didn't think it was gonna be hot like why did it do that you were there pablo came to support me too yeah i don't mind getting burnt but did you <laughs> was it hot it felt good i had a hat oh. on i actually bought a hat oh. oh yeah my i have your hat on right now yeah sick and uh you did a great job on these. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I wanted a cop a shirt, but I told you what I don't like about it. <laughs> what what, what, but what was it? Cops, just the neck. It's like. Oh, of the blink I, tee? I like my neck oh, you like your neck secure. That's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, I don't know. I like how your shirts fit on me. It makes me feel like slim. Because like when you I wear the slim. collab shirt that uh-huh. we have, it, uh, like it feels like slender like slim fit like i don't know your neck doesn't feel secure though because like the arms are a little shorter too so Uh i just feel a little swaller yeah but no great job i was proud of you and then shout out chris yeah shout out shout out chris all the hard work that he does and he was telling me how he wants to get into more venue events oh really damn i guess we'll definitely talk about later because i don't know if i do want to but it wasn't this event wasn't bad as i thought i mean if you made your money back and you made a lot of connections well yeah I wanted to talk about that later too, but uh, that reminded me of something else too. But how was my birthday right. activities? Oh were great. yeah, uh, that we, was kind of uh, crazy too. Went to dinner at this place called Untitled. That shit was fire. It was like an underground speakeasy. Yeah, and then the burlesque show. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll get into it later. did you expect that one? No, the burlesque show or yeah. the. The oh, well, I did. I would never. Yeah. I didn't expect that at all. I didn't even know what that meant. Like, I would. <laughs> they told me there was a performance, but I didn't expect yeah. that. They never like it was a like it was something. You know, it's, it's all performative arts. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but a hey, I didn't think I was gonna see like titties. ass and titties, ass and titties. when Ooh, I was eating I my lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. <laughs> yeah. Jason got the lasagna. It's a combination. It's I got just... a nice little uh, yeah. skirt steak, yeah. and then. uh food it was great it was my a cool girl place. got some pasta the pasta was fire yeah but um yeah thank you everybody i feel like it was a great day overall and then i went to squared's uh place <laughs> yeah. yeah every now and then and then we had a we had a great time yeah, we chill. were smoking on the roof i shook up with joe i was like oh you did it was a good night yeah and i was like squared was um uh oh, attending working. us and he yeah. was working but like <laughs> It was still great seeing you. Like yeah. it just like it made me, like that's what I needed for that day. And then we went back to our place. Yeah. And we uh, talked shit about how high, which was uh, not how high. White, uh, man, white man can't, can't jump. jump. <laughs> you know how what? High. I didn't hate that though. I didn't hate we'll that. We'll get movie. into it. We'll get into it, bro. <laughs> I actually was laughing. I don't know. I, I mean, like, it was funny, but it yeah. was like, what is this movie? Dude, we'll I give our like, review. At oh the end. my god, I feel like so many people. I'm sorry. I feel like there's so <laughs> many people are like judging this, and it's like we knew it was gonna be. Funny no, time. I did not. Wait. So how was your week before? <laughs> oh. <laughs> my week was cool. Like you said, that was the um the no free coffee, the Joe Fresh Goods event. Yeah, fire. Um, it was just a lot of work. I just felt like the whole weekend I was like busy. Yeah, I was busy just working the whole weekend. I heard that Sunday um, was really nice, so I'm sure people were popping out. Yeah, well, I mean, the, yeah, really, more people is kind of unheard. We never really done a pop up on a Sunday before. True. So it was just a little bit more um, crowded, but I mean, other than that, the week was cool. That was probably the only thing I was really like looking forward to. Um, 
I mean, besides like seeing the new space and everything. Um, but yeah, it was cool. It was cool. No complaints. Did they have coffee on Sunday? They had coffee. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Was it free? It was free. I thought their name was No Free Coffee. Yeah, but they gave it away <laughs> that day. But you know what? A lot of people bought like uh, a lot of people bought the shirts, the hoodies. Uh, a lot of people from here, like just like pure fans from like No Free Coffee too. So shout out to No Free Coffee. Yeah, is it? Um, they started in Kentucky. Oh wow! So they have one in Kentucky, and then they have one at uh. I don't know. Look, I think I said that last time. Actually, we're gonna scratch that out because he got offended. I don't know if he got like fake offended, <laughs> but Tennessee, Tennessee, not Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we'll start over. He no should free, come on the pod and clear it up. <laughs> no free coffee. Shout out to Mario. It's about two, three other people on the team too. But shout out to Mario. Okay, okay. Um, they started in Tennessee and they have a shop in LA too. So they kind of have like grounds in both. So nice. they do their thing, man. I don't know. It's, it's good coffee. Shit, it's for the coffee drinkers. Uh, I had about a few. I had a few of them. And I was just like too, too jittery and shit. Like they make um, their own brew. But yeah, yeah, like they make their own. Like they have like their own like bags of coffee. It's crazy. And shit. Is it so, Colombian? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we tap might in. To, yeah, we might have to get them on here to talk about <laughs> it. But shout out them. Nice. I feel nice. like yeah, we just ran out of coffee too, and my girl was like, "What are we gonna eat now?" Because it was my last bag of Colombian coffee that I brought from Colombia. <laughs> you guys drink coffee a lot like that? I do. Oh, I drink it like every day. And oh. Um, I was like, I don't know. We'll try. It. Uh, Yadi suggested one. She said like Cafe Bustelo. I think it was like a yellow package. Mm. So I'm gonna try that one. But um, yeah. Going back to this event. Yeah. You want to keep that money then, or you want to? Yeah. You want to reinvest it? Yeah. Back into the brand? I definitely want to. Just like I'm tired of kind of like paying out of pocket every time. True. Um. Yeah. I never really separated because you never really know what profit you're making. Cause yeah. Like, and it was just confusing. Mm-hmm. And this time, well, last time I could have done it too, but it just never happened. And this time, I finally have it. I I took it out in cash, everything. So I just have it in cash. But I just don't know where to put it into because I don't have a free. No one like. No one offers really like free checkings. As like, I I thought they would, mm-hmm. but they don't. So, but I mean, I'm surprised. I, I thought Chase did. No, you have to be a student or something. I went to Bank of America at first, and the lady was like, are you a student? Like, kind of, like, rude. Like, mm. aren't you a student? And I was just like, no. And she was like, well, how old are you? She called you young. Yeah, well, kind of, but in a weird way. She was like, how old are you? And I was like, 29. And she, and she looked at my ID, and she was like, oh. <laughs> and then I left. I was like, no. Dummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean... The market was really cool. I was pretty nervous for it at first and like like how the setup would go. Like you just I saw they gave everybody bins. It was kind of weird like when we got there there was like it was like chalked out kind of like mm. manually a little bit, but obviously we couldn't it was so it was a lot smaller than I thought. So And like, then they were even trying to take more space, right? For the Red Bull event. That's what I heard from other vendors too. Oh, really? That uh they originally like told them that they could have 10 feet, but then they're trying to cut it to like eight. Uh, like, they're asking people probably about the tents and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's probably not the market's fault. It's like more yeah, at the venue. No. But yeah. It was the same time as a crazy like breakdance concert or, or performance. <laughs> break dance <laughs> what do you call concert. it? <laughs> Yo, performance. they got to start doing that. Breakdance concert. It's kind of like what it is though. It's just one stage. Everybody's like around it. Right. I mean, it's like a it's a dance battle. So yeah. it's like the Red Bull. Uh, I think it was a freestyle one. Any, I don't know what it was, but it was, was like a national and finals. Was, what was this at? The, it was the, the salt shed. shed. The same day as his show. event. So it was right outside the venue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was a beautiful view, though. Yeah. Like was, I was looking at the river. Yeah. I, the yeah. I never nice. been there. It was pretty cool. Yeah, salt shed. We, I wish we fucking saw Georgia Smith. <sighs> Did I know? At that she just uh, announced her new project coming in uh, September. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she looked good. Yeah, but not surprised. Yeah. Not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Market was cool. Come on the pod. I gotta just gotta <laughs> redo my room. <laughs> one day. Yeah. One day. One day. Yeah, Why clean you up. Know? You gotta organize. But I mean, we got to record. I mean, we got to organize this place, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So, what are you guys uh looking forward to in the summer? Like, it's really getting hot. We have to install this air conditioning. I don't know. It feels kind of cool right now. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I feel I mean, good. The air has to spread. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it feels so fine. It was worth it. It was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It was. What do you mean? I'm it not was. Here, I'm sorry. not saying it wasn't worth it. Maybe it could have been worth it later. 
<laughs> Can I hey. take that? You're on the fence. I'm on the fence. <laughs> Mr. Feeney. Mr. Who? Mr. Feeney. Who's that? From Boys Meets World. Oh. That's a Drake I mean, one. Yeah. Bro, I was about to, <laughs> the crazy right. part. He was the fence wasn't that big, so it's not like he was like he can you can he can walk over the fence to Feeney's backyard. Yeah, like it, it always covered his like bottom half. No, that's not that's that's ah oh, that's, uh, that's uh Wilson I'm from sorry, goddamn Home Improvement talking about Mr. Feeney. But shout Mr. Out Feeney to was the oh so he wasn't so he didn't say I'm on the fence, Mr. Feeney. I don't know. Did I just, just make that up? So it's, I'm on the fence, Owen Wilson. Yourself. What's his name? Mr. Wilson. What's Wilson, the, it was just Wilson. It was just Wilson. Yeah, I'm on the fence, Wilson. Okay, maybe Drake didn't I'll put say that. that. In Drake. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm better than Drake. Oh, and then we had a German chocolate cake. Oh yeah, that shit was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, and we were just talking shit about the movie the whole time. I don't oh, know yeah. why we didn't just switch the movie. Well, okay, so for people that don't can you know. imagine, can you imagine Fahey watching? Uh, I, that's why I would like to watch it by myself. Jump. Well, let, let's lie. go back. Let's go back. So, <laughs> so basically, after Pablo's uh, birthday party uh, dinner, we went to, or after Squared's event, after his dinner, we went to Pablo's house. Yeah, and we ended up watching White, White Man, Man Can't, Can't Jump. jump. The second, the second one with Jack uh, Harlow, version, with Jack Harlow. Yeah, I don't know what the other guy's name is, but he did a good job yeah, too. It was like yeah. they're both like I couldn't tell shout who the main Tiana character Taylor was. Taylor too. Tiana yeah, Taylor. she went crazy. She was the best actor in there okay. for sure. But yeah, so anyways, we were watching this movie. But every second I was watching this movie, it might have been because I was high or not. But I was I was watching and I was like, "What the what, fuck is what, happening? What's happening in this movie, bro?" <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like you know what, but I, that's, I like watching shit like that by myself. Uh-huh. Like, I don't need like so uh-huh. much commentary because then yeah. it's like at that point, what was I? What was I? Is not and, and shout out to Jack Carlo too. But what was I expecting? Like was I expecting like this is the was I expecting goddamn Wesley Snipes and uh and Woody Harrelson? No, I was not. I was expecting Jack Carlo. I- I know. He's goddamn random. Like, nah, he's not a random dude because he's been in things before. So I don't even disrespect this black man like this. <laughs> so shout out to him. Uh, I forgot. I don't know his name, <laughs> but shout out to brother. But well, that's all I'm like. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I could have looked it up real quick. But I just don't. I didn't know what. I didn't think it was anything unexpected or what I what I thought was I was gonna see in that movie. Yeah, I think uh, I didn't know what to expect because I didn't watch all of the first one. So in the first one, did they have a basketball competition? Yes. Okay, so, so it's literally like a re. They hustle for like yeah, pretty like much. Like a rebranding of the exact same movie. Mm-hmm. And um, what's the white guy's name? What in the first? Woody Harrison. In the first one, Woody Harrison was he like spiritual like that? Like he kept meditating and like uh, wanting nah, to like he was, a, he was vegan he was, like that. Yeah, uh, he was kind of a shithead. Oh, but both of them were shitheads. They were both like. They both had their own reasons for being that way, though. You know what I'm saying? The ACL injury. Yeah. Those scars looked real. The ACL. I remember seeing that. That's, <laughs> dude, that's what I didn't understand about this movie. Anyways, to those who are going to watch, watch the movie, don't. Anyway, fuck it. I don't know. I don't care. Zero out of 10. This movie sucked. I get it zero out of 10. <laughs> yeah, you really? Yeah, I do. Oh, <laughs> because, bro, like, well, it's so like. Why did you, but why did you watch it in the first place? Like, did you think this is going to be. Because I wanted to see Jack Harlow's acting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he did bad, bro. You just saw him in Dave, right? I think he, I think it was all right, <laughs> but <laughs> and Dave was a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, like, that shit was funny. I'm not, but I also like, the, you know what I appreciated from this movie that like I feel like I got to hear like how Jack would sound if he was just like a not yeah. if he wasn't not saying if he if he just wasn't around people he was around. You know what I mean? Like, and I enjoyed that. Like, mm-hmm. even him making like cracking these jokes. Like, I think the the acting was fine, but I didn't like the storyline. It just seems so like typical. Like, there's so many movies with the basketball competition at the end, it's, and it's like it's gonna it's gonna jump. solve all their problems. It's, like, it's based on the movie. I guess, they but made. they could have bro in the flamethrower, Avion Crockett. Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> but Avion Crockett is always in some dumb shit though. Like. But shout out A.V.I. Crockett. This is no diss to none of our people in these movies. We're not dissing you. We're dissing the writers. I feel like. Yeah, but. Well, I am. I, like I said. Like it? Somebody, what's your rating? Like when somebody says, like, I give that shit like a, I give it like a six. Damn. But okay. even like a, what's it called? Even like a, a, a how high two. Like mm. was I how expecting. How high two is listen, bad too. Was yeah. I expecting Method Man and Red Man? No, I was not. I was expecting mm. the Lil Yachty and fucking. Uh, DC Young DC Fly. DC Young Fly. Like, and it's not bad, but it's like. Why would I 
overhype myself to be like, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be like no. It's the exact same like, category of the, a movie. It's the exact same category, yeah. just different actors. It's just like new age uh, trash. Yeah, I don't know, cause honestly, I didn't but, really watch the first one. You know I was gonna say how high it wasn't trash. Like none of these were trash. It's just no, like, the first one was fire. Yeah, that's why I'm like, it's not like new age trash. It's just like yeah, like what was I expect from a sequel that don't have the same people in it from fucking over twenty something years ago? Yeah. like you know what I mean. So I don't know. I don't think it was, I think it was cool. I was high. I laughed a couple few times on myself, and that's all I'd be appreciating. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I just want a good laugh. I laughed a lot. Yeah, that's just like yo, like was, I, I laughed. Tiana Taylor was looking good in there. Like come on, like there's so many things. It's like hey, okay, it could have been worse. Y'all y'all kept watching it, so obviously I, I did. That's what was so funny about it. Like nobody changed it. Yeah, they just it's kept like talking y'all kept shit. talking shit, but it's like y'all like, y'all didn't hate that movie. Bro, that bad. I was asleep for the majority of the time, to be honest. But on the birthday. I was tired, bro. Busy ass day. I, I know uh, Fahey was going crazy on goddamn Jackson. Like he, bro, going Fahey crazy. was. <laughs> Fahey was saying <laughs> like this movie don't make sense, <laughs> and he was saying that like, uh, why does he have a Porsche? But he's broke. Yeah, that it was doesn't make sense because he has a Porsche. Porsche again? Jack yeah. Harlow. He had a Porsche. Anyways, all right, let's move on. Fuck, fuck. The, anyways, we can talk about the movie later again too. Though. <laughs> I mean, he's still a white man at the end of the day. Yeah. Like not saying that, but hey, maybe that Porsche's passed down. Maybe, maybe. But I that's just, what I wished it was. I wish it was like this is uh, Woody Harrison's <laughs> son, and like the it was a different story. You know what I mean? Like I didn't want it's it a to be movie dog. Yeah, <laughs> too much. I guess yeah. Uh, fuck it. Let's just get into it. Have you guys seen Shazam too? No, didn't even know it came out. Did you see the first one? Or it's just like one of those ones that you don't really care about. Megan Good's in it. She, the second one. And the first one too. Ah, uh, she's in both. See, see, I love Megan. She's but I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's Megan. gonna make me watch that first one. But shout out to Black Adam though. Black shout Adam. out to Black Adam. Black Adam was fire. That's Shazam, old. Bro. That's an old movie. <laughs> <laughs> but Shazam too wasn't. I feel like it just came out. But I'm kind of glad I didn't. It's like one of those movies that you don't want to watch in the theaters, but you'll watch it at home. Yeah, because I'm not gonna watch Shazam two in theaters. Yeah, true. But um. I had a cool story, and then the monsters in it were crazy. I um, I recommend people to watch it for the monsters because it's like a bunch of mythological, and like they had these unicorns in there that look crazy. They're like evil, but in Shazam, yeah, uh, they, I don't know why. It got like, like mythical, like like about gods. And I want to believe Greek in gods. DC, but it's just hard. Their special effects are dumb as fuck. They're so bad. Yeah, it's like it looks too fake, but um. It's funny because all the actors in it are like kids and then they turn into adults. But it's like the best versions of their adult selves. So it's just funny. Mm. But um, that's on HBO Max. HBO Max. Which is now The Max. The Max. They rebranded it, which is kind of crazy. But how did you find out about that? Because I got an email <laughs> and then it said like, we are now at The Max. So is that what you type in the max.com? It's the Max, yeah. If you have the app, you can download the Max now. <laughs> not a, no more HBO. It's not even purple that's anymore. Probably why so, blue. That's probably why I couldn't watch my shit yesterday. So are you, are you telling me mm-hmm. now that I have to re-log in to the HBO that I don't have you anymore? You gotta get it from Rex. Fuck. No, I was using someone else's. Hey, same. Oh. Same. Damn, that's, some, that's <laughs> kind of fucked up. That's Damn. Probably, that's all my yesterday I was trying that to makes play. sense, because <laughs> I actually paid for mine, and I was able to get in. Fuck. Uh, that's why the emails are coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let you know about the change. I wonder if that's a way to get people to like lose their Damn. I was watching the Michael Shea show. You got the Michael Shea? No. From it's SNL. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is that show is crazy. It's like hell. Like it's really one of my favorite it's shows like, right now. Josh like, actually uh, put me under this show. It's like the Chappelle show, but well, like more artistic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you have you, you seen you watch yeah, the yeah, episodes? episodes. You they got Chris the, Stefano as a did cop. You see, did you see the episode when he was like, "Before a hose, my life was," and he's like, "Come on, man, don't you remember when we were riding bikes?" He said, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> he just said <laughs> the episode Before like so the they hose. So, so it was a it was pretty much like a um like an educational day. Like the the teacher brought in like the a guy to talk to the kids, and he was like, "What are you gonna talk about today?" He's like, all right, y'all, all all right, kids. And these are fucking little kids, bro. He's like, today we're going to talk about hoes. And he writes it (laughs) on the wall and circles it. And the the teacher's like, isn't this a little appropriate? He's like, 
Yo, like before my life, he was explaining to him before my life, before hoes, my life was great. You remember? He's like, you remember riding bikes, being carefree, but it's just like, bro, the Michael Shea show is very funny. I really fuck. I just started watching it for real. Uh, like I said, shout out to Fiji. He he told me to. He said it was unnecessary. Yeah, um, but that show is hilarious as fuck. The damn Michael Shea show, or that damn Michael Shea, I think. But well, so I can't watch it anymore <laughs> until I get another password. But it's on the max. Hmm. The max. The max. I seen uh, Fetty Wap went to jail for six years. Um, it's a little uh, random fact. Yeah, <laughs> I just read. <laughs> Is he there now officially? I guess so. Yeah. What? What for what? drug trafficking? Did, uh, was that a known? I wanted thing? to say like was that you probably known? didn't see it coming, but mm. it was, gonna, was that a known thing though that he was a a drug trafficker? <laughs> Yeah. Really? No, nah, it's fine. But sometimes I wonder, like, oh, I wonder where Fetty Wap is. So now I know. That was just, it was just such a random, like, news thing that popped up, I feel like, on social media that, like, yeah, w- what the fuck just happened? Like, you know what I mean? It made me that think, like, did you, I don't know if this is incriminating, but, like, did you guys ever, <sighs> this is a dumb question. <laughs> I sound like Adam 22, but, like, if you guys ever tried selling weed. Yeah. But, yeah. Right? I sold weed before. What do you mean? I don't know. I didn't want to, like, I Put haven't. you on blast or something? Huh? You I, haven't? I don't know. I sold candy. You sell it legally? Sure. I sell. I sell my. <laughs> what are you talking about? I sell candy. Oh, I you mean sell, like? Why? Yeah, I sell. No, not booger sugar, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? not the candy I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> not talking about that. That's the title. That episode. nose. That nose candy. <laughs> yeah, you talking about some other sh- co- talking, other candy? I'm talking about regular, regular fruities. Yeah, like honey buns. <laughs> honey buns, <laughs> shit like yeah. that. I know. Never I, I love honey buns. <laughs> honey buns are fine. I actually got two of them. I'm fucking with you. I don't got two but of them, you know. I say that to say that there was a time where I was selling like like maybe like dimes or like I've sold anything. Dubs, but this like, is very a, like yeah. and it, but it's so dumb because Why? I wasn't doing it because I needed money. Uh, I was doing it because I wanted to like be the cool guy with uh, weed. Nah, you know, like it was nah. a dumb reason. I only did it for specifically money. I would say. <laughs> got a little nickel bag right here. Nah, I, I'm I'm the worst salesman. Like when it comes to that shit, so really? I probably didn't. I probably ended up smoking it with my friends or something. True, yeah, but, same. Um, it just it made me think of that and like how some people are meant for it, some people aren't. I've been um watching a lot of uh Better Call Saul and the drug dealers in it. And, like you could just tell like the whole operation behind it. And then when you get into the cartel and all that shit, it's like crazy so you think they're pretty smart i don't think they're smart oh i think they're uh they eventually always get caught hmm. i think watch me <laughs> no, just, just <laughs> uh yeah that's, that's speaking crazy. of candy do you know what time it is what time is it snack time baby it's too snack soon time. yeah it snack is time. it's the early snack it's time. too soon my mouth is dry. I need some snacks. This is going to make it drier. <laughs> is that caramel? It's no. It's some coffee brew. Oh, M&M. hell. <laughs> so I need something, bro. Close. My throat is on fire. <laughs> really? I've been hitting this. Uh, fucking Stop hitting it. Stop hitting it. I, yeah. I got to hit something. I Damn. I That's all I can do. Boy, why don't you eat your rice and bananas? I don't have a fork. Dude. How do you guys feel about rice and bananas? So, like, I would love to try it, but I'm just... <laughs> Allergic to I'm bananas. allergic to bananas, and when I say that to, to people, people are like, "Wow, bananas, really?" And I'm like, "Yeah, bananas." And I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I am. Sometimes I feel like I'm not. But I want to try it. You are I, allergic I think I am. So you said I think. Sometimes I think that I am. <laughs> I like, like it. All right. I want it. I want. My girl it. put me on. Yeah. I'm a supporter. I mean, but do you like it though? You do like it? I do like it. I don't know. I feel I, like it. It's. Uh, I need you to try it. I need the opinion. I'm not trying it. <laughs> I don't think it's the worst thing if ever. If I give it made. to you at the movie theater, you'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> I, I would. I would literally go buy That's something so else. That's so funny. All right. <laughs> no. Back to today's snack. I'll go buy a real snack. We got M&M's. <laughs> Caramel cold brew. Cold brew. Never heard of these before. So, I guess the purple. Before, before, before she was pregnant, was she eating this? Yes. <laughs> Her whole family does. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hey, don't Please. yuck somebody's yum, bro. Yeah, but... 
it, I feel it, like it sounds interesting. You gotta give everything a shot. But it's, I've been looking at like foreign ass food lately, don't, and don't it looks it crazy. Coming into the house, all right? I'm, I'm still. <laughs> I'm still partying with the fam. <laughs> I'm bananas and rice with y'all. I don't think it's that. I just think the Ooh, combination. I would love gross. to see you turn down that. I think the her, idea her, her, is like, there. Parents gave I'll it. just be. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you would. You bro, would. I'm not going fake, bro. Like, what if they're not fake? Take what if it? like, it's a, if I take what it, they, that what shit? if they said it's disrespectful? Oh, okay. What about this? No, 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 no. no. What? It, no, no, no. What about this? What about this? What if your girlfriend right now, you were at her parents' house and they served you banana and rice or. Yeah. Whichever, you wouldn't eat it. That's crazy. You wouldn't eat it. Just ate. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, you'd have to. You that's have a bit, to that's, eat that's it. That's super important. Her dad is looking at you. And being that's like, like the. I feel like that's the number one thing that moms no, like. Like, like I would, okay, okay. I would, but I would like. I would not enjoy it. I wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah. 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 Like well, you, you gonna say damn like damn mm, damn this I rice might and, this I just rice, might this rice and bananas why are you so like closed off to it you don't know but I just don't like the combination you like bananas? I don't like the food touching you like bananas I love bananas I you just like don't, rice bro it just doesn't look good yeah that's what I'm saying it, it doesn't it, look it is a very strange combination like, you gotta admit that I've literally never heard of that combination I guess, but I like today. pineapple and pizza so that's not yeah, the that's, same that's, that's, thing. Not, that's not good either <laughs> that's not good either yeah like he's not it's good to me <laughs> it's like, good to me guys <laughs> your saying. opinion doesn't make my anyways, opinion any worse yeah but that's what I'm saying like they can have that <laughs> but I've never even heard of that combination like, can so, we eat them and I'm just, yeah like right. plantain three two rice same thing no it's not it's kind of it's cooked different it's cooked different not banana sweet alright three two one over sweet Plantains are sweet. They and they fry too. That shit is a, a rare a raw banana. Mm mm. Too much. Why is it so chewy mm. like gum? This is weird. Like I thought it was gonna be like Well It's caramel. It's caramel. Oh it's, it's caramel. caramel. Is it caramel? I mean, how you caramel. Say it? It's caramel, but it's coffee Ca- too. Caramel caramel. That's what it was. That was strange. I the coffee? Th- the caramel. I thought it was supposed uh-huh. to be like chocolate. I thought I was eating chocolate right now. But caramel cold brew. I like this. It's good. I drink this with milk. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'll have to just get the regular pack. Not the whole big one. I like the peanut pack. Have you had the, the pretzel? Yellow. Have you had the pretzel ones? They got brownie ones. Those are good. Yeah, my name is just fire. They got brownie. Don't they have um, what's that crunch bar like material? I feel like that was the uh, uh, nougats. Nougats. That's what it is. I I like this. I like bar, caramel. Crunch bar material. M Ms. Nougat. <laughs> yeah. I get this. I just uh, thought it was a funny term. You said you said the crunch bar material. <laughs> The I get, ingredients. <laughs> I give this an eight out of ten because I like I like I like caramel, caramel. When I was in um, high school, some girl told me that green M M&M, green M green green M M&M's, green M M&M's, M M&M's, 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 green, green Skittles make girls horny. What? <laughs> Who <laughs> said me. this to you? Some girl I was like talking to. Oh, who is it? I'm not gonna say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I always thought about that ever since. Green M and M's make people horny. Maybe just oh. make people horny. No, that's just dye. I was gonna say the dye. green M and M was the she was the the decent one out of the bunch. So I would. Oh, oh, oh like, maybe it's that like that. She, is that what she means? I didn't even like, think yo, about like, that. Like, <laughs> maybe she meant M&M the was, cartoon. Like, yo, the green M and M was the moment. She was the horny one. Well, no, she, she was, was the, the sexy one. one. She, she made a lot of guys horny. This would make sense. Why this would make you horny? <laughs> I'm not horny. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I'm just saying. You know. And you took all the green ones. <laughs> yeah, like literally, look, it was look, random. He has all the green ones left. That's what he's waiting for the end. For what? He's waiting to eat the <laughs> green ones happen? last. I'm gonna eat these before I get home. <laughs> he's waiting to eat the green ones last. He said, "I don't know." Wait, so what do you guys give I'm this? Save them for later. <laughs> What are you guys good? Well, we to say, eight out of ten. Uh, I said eight. What did we can say? Six out of ten. <laughs> we can say he said the pussy's so good. It's like it's, he said it's like it's, so much know. pussies be falling out the pocket. It's like that. He's like you're saving it for later. The, the green M&M. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, why do you have them like that? I'm gonna eat them when I get home. 
Interesting. <laughs> when you have your own store, what neighborhood do you want it to be in? Hmm. That's a that's a in Chicago, of course, right? Or were you guys thinking outside of the state? <coughs> For your first store? Man. Or do you guys even want stores? I I don't know. I mm. mean that that'd be cool, like one day. But I don't know what neighborhood because I feel like lately everyone's doing like Wicker Park and like all these places that are already kind of like established. Really? I, I would kind of have it where it's more quiet, you know what I'm saying? Kind of start there. Like the uh, what burbs? Um, I would I would start at like where I'm at now, like Logan Square or like Avondale type True. area. <coughs> I don't know. I think I always wanted to have something in Oak Park or like Forest Park, but then um, I'm starting to like this area a lot too. Well, maybe because of the majority is like Hispanic. Yeah. But I think like uh, Albany Park is good too, like that area. Yeah. Like almost Lincoln, but not Lincoln. I don't know. I guess it depends. I mean, it's pretty nice in Albany Park, to be honest, in some parts. Yeah. So. What about you, Squared? Um, I don't know. I mean, I want to, you know, I, I always, I think it's cool, like, having shit in, the, like, the burbs and stuff. But I also think it, like, kind of takes away from, like, people in the city who can come out and see you. Like, not saying, like, Oak Park before, even like that is, like, Forest Park is, like, a nice, like, area to, like, right, these are nice areas to, like, chill in and, like, go over there. But I feel like to even, like, I want I want people to have to, like, come out and, like, find me. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, you, I would say, like, right now, because I work in West Loop and all this stuff, that's just, like, the, the area right now. But then I have, like, we even, like, places like Matter of the Heart where they're just, like, on their own, like, island. You know what I'm saying? But it's, like, you yeah. still have to go to, like, a, a side of the city to go see them. So I'll probably either go, like, do somewhere, like, north. Either north or, like, West Loop. Damn. You're not going to open up for uh, Evanston? Nah. For your hometown? Nah. <laughs> now I said I said north. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't have to be like it don't have to be like it's just not gonna be like fucking um it's not gonna be Skokie. <laughs> I was born in Skokie, <laughs> goddamn. I was not gonna be there for damn sure. Damn, speaking of Skokie, uh I guess by the time you listen to us we'd have already had the event, but this Saturday we're having the five twenty one two year anniversary. So thank you to everybody that came. I think we're celebrating Rex's birthday there too. So hopefully he got pretty drunk and <laughs> we could all match his level and have a great time. Did My mom's gonna be selling out of us. Did he say he was gonna drink? Oh, I don't know. He said he was gonna celebrate his birthday though, right? Oh. You think he's gonna do it without drinking? I have no idea. Maybe. He said <laughs> he was wondering if you guys are gonna come karaoke. I want to. I told the world and she said she's done. Nice. We were trying to think of like karaoke songs. And that's on Saturday? What Friday. Friday? I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to see it. I mean, but I want, I want Rex to, to sing for real. I want to No, that. he'll, he'll sing know, for you I if he's there. The you hear us, Rex? The halfway shit. Do you I want sing? The all the way. Hell no. You don't sing? No. So what do you do? You just watch? Yeah. Damn. But I mean, shit. You'll sing there tonight? Fuck tomorrow? it. Fuck it. I usually don't, but fuck it, you know? We got to sing a song that all four of us could sing. I mean, shit, you could sing any song. We're not going to be good. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> not going to the lose. Not going to the Yeah, that's what I told yeah, him. Like, no, I singing with real singers must be crazy. I don't it's think there's like, going to be like a score or anything on the thing. Shit. Yeah. Well, I'll be... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I'm down to do that. And then Saturday... Um, Shout out Joey. He actually has a performance. Tomorrow. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then Runzy has an exhibit at yeah. Cherry Mountain Arts. I, I want to check that out, too. True. Sure. Yeah, it's going to be a busy weekend, I feel like, events. And then it's Memorial Day weekend, too. So it's like you could spend a lot of family time, too, which is good. I'm glad I have Monday off. Damn. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't, but I'll be thinking about how you do. Oh, they still sell weed on Memorial Day? Yeah, we sell weed on the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Um, what was the one that? What was the one that 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 SpongeBob celebrated? Um, uh, Leaf Erickson Day. <laughs> 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 Is 
that day two shit. Ah, we got to get some uh, art on these walls, guys. I feel like we get a nice sign. Some other things. Sign could work. Yeah. yeah. The, mm, 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 that'll probably be making the sound. Yeah, for those who don't know, we're, we just really moved like into a new. Yeah, I like we'll that. We'll have one more. What if we were like stuck in here and this is all we have to eat? <laughs> That'd be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go fuck. <laughs> Uh, fuck. I recently went to Chinatown to eat after the market, and it's. I love this restaurant called Hinky. Fuck, what's it called? Hinky. You should have went, dude. I was. It was uh, I were already wanted to go home. Wait, we didn't. I don't know if we went to Hinky though. It's so weird. No, we went to Seven Treasures, but I went to Hinky recently. So he, good. He, Something he, was telling me to go, Hinky. and I really wanted to because Hinky. Yeah. Hinky. Uh huh. It, like, it was like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was like your celebratory dinner like you got to get whatever you wanted because you know you did a good job but the dishes are actually really cheap and nice. it's amazing let's go take me back all right i'll drive fuck it what kind of food is it huh what kind of food is it chinese food mm-hmm. chinatown nice is that where are we gonna go karaoke is that where we gonna go get karaoke i don't think so i don't know why i would assume chinatown I, I think it's like lincoln park you know what i think of what this is like I think, a, I think a rush hour when um <laughs> Chris Tucker was doing the Michael Jackson. It's not like he that. Said, he said, I'll take the mic. He said, come on. That's me. Oh, my God. I'm going to go on. crazy. <laughs> come on, Lee. <laughs> oh, man. Don't stop till you get in there. Come on. Don't stop. Don't stop till you yeah. get in there. Summer activities. Adidas is back selling Yeezy. Yeah. I felt like it was not that long ago since we talked about like Yeezy. We talk about Kanye at least once a month. Kanye not selling with Ye- Easy, not Adidas not selling Yeezys. Yeah, but I think <laughs> yeah, what bitches. they're doing now is they're uh, giving the profits to George Far- George Floyd Foundation. Oh, uh, Foundation. Yeah. Are they giving part of the profits, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. They probably take something. They yeah. got to get their money I'm back. I'm so confused. That's like, why? What is happening with all and that? And I think they, I just read a thing where they're saying um, Adidas is interested in Kyrie as well. Oh, wow. So that I don't know, you know what? It's just it's just very crazy to me that it's got to like I'm not saying what this man said was not offensive, right? But it's like just to go back and be like, well, we actually do need you. Kyrie or Kyrie? No, uh fucking Kanye. Oh. But like yeah. to go back and be like after all that, it's just crazy. You know what I mean? Like this shit is just absolutely insane to me. Yeah. And it's That's like the damn biggest not- W though, right? For Kanye. For Kanye. I mean, in a sense, because Adidas is basically saying, like, look, like, we can't do this without you. I'm sorry. Like, please, like, let's do this again. Maybe. <laughs> you I don't know. know. I, wish, I wish I could, like, know, like, the, the <laughs> contract. Like, what? But I feel like nobody's been talking about it. Like, everybody who who was making all this stuff a big deal about Kanye, no, like, we're finding these out and nobody's saying nothing now. Like, yeah. you're not hearing nothing from nobody, bro. Nothing. You ever heard? That's why I'm like. time for Kanye to drop, like, an album. No, it would not be. You don't think so? But that's the thing. No. No. <laughs> not right now. But I feel like he just has to be in. He can't drop an album and not just be in yay mode, bro. Like, I just feel like it's not like. It so just. People I, are finding out that he didn't say anything wrong or they're saying that they agree with something. No. That, I don't think it's any of that. I just yeah, think Adidas. I mean, Adidas just is fact. I mean, they just can't sell his shoes without him. Yeah. They just. Yeah. Nobody wants nobody wants three sixties if it don't got no easy. That's on so it. fire! It's like a big ass consignment deal. That yeah, it's like we're not gonna wear them. That they but no, but like. that's the thing. Like Kanye made Adidas cool. Right. Like shout out to Pharrell too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying like nobody like Kanye made these silhouettes. He made these shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like he made Adidas cool to wear for real. Wait, so do you guys think Yeezys are lame to wear now? Yeah, nah. I, don't, I think the same thing that I thought of Yeezys. I think they cool, but I'm just not going to go, like, overdo anything to go yeah. to wear Adidas. Like you're not gonna you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like not if like... You could, would you wear the 750s? If, yes. Yeah, if I was like... That's you know what? But I, a lot of the stuff, like the boots, I love his... Like, all the boots that he's ever made with Yeezy, like mm-hmm. Adidas, I love all the boots he's made. Um, I remember the... the seven, Were the 750s the... The, high t- the, the high gray one? ones? Yeah, them shits are... black ones. Bro, yep. come on. Like... Do you think Kanye, Kanye likes when people wear it or now he's like 
Don't wear my shirt. I mean, they, those. Yeah, were, it was a time where they were his. So, like, how could you? And people know they're still yours. But I haven't. I don't know. Like, I still see people wearing. But have you? Have you seen like a whole bunch of people wearing? Like, I've seen a lot of memes of people like getting clowned for spending a lot of money on on Yeezys that aren't worth much anymore. Yeah, I don't know. But that's the thing. Like I said, he he made them cool to like wear and everything. So. It's just that's the ridiculous part to me. It's just like after all this and like nobody said now nobody says anything, but every week Kanye was crazy and whatever, right? But every week like no artist has anything to say, but whatever things. And then when they take him back or he he's back, like nobody says anything. Yeah. Like it's just like okay. So I don't know. It's just funny, but shout out Yato. Fuck Adidas. <laughs> This ain't fucking up no future earnings either. I ain't planning on. I don't want no work with him, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, they. I think they tweet. Fuck a Puma, but shout out Jay Z <laughs> and Nipsey too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this new moon theory though? I don't think it's a new moon theory. I was just <clears throat> a lot of um. Like even on like Monday, a lot of people came into my one of like my job, and they were just like very, um, very negative. I feel like people have experiences with you. So it's this guy, it's this guy who who comes into the dispensary, and he knows somebody I mutually know, but I'm also I don't know this guy like with yeah. the with the you know what I mean that we just know the same person, but I'm not. He knows the dude more than me. Um, but he comes into the dispensary and he he does these club hostings and shit. Uh, so he 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 always he invited me to one right he invited me to some before but I, I told him like you know I appreciate it but I I probably won't slide but go crazy you know what I mean yeah. and not because of that but because I'm I it's not my scene you yeah. know what I mean like I'm not we're not club I'm guys. not finna go on a Thursday night after I leave work to like the you know what I'm saying like exactly. on a on some regular shit like on some if I if it's a reason for me to be there I'll be there but I'm not finna just be like oh this is this night like slide like this is. Bubble night, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they do, yeah, is like this, whatever. Bubble and, night, and, but it's not saying like he's a promoter, <laughs> so like he, it, right? you know what I'm saying? That's his yeah. job. So he, pretty much every time he came in, he's like, "Oh yeah, but you didn't slide." And I'm, I'm telling him like, "Bro, I got more than one job. I got like right. things. I'm, you know what I mean?" And yeah. I just told him that on some like, "Oh, he's like, oh, he." Act, I feel like he fake understood. But he's I don't know if he was offended, but now every time he comes into the dispensary, he like I, I, I like yesterday. I didn't I didn't know. Like I feel like I picked up on the. Like some months ago, and I'm like, just stop saying shit to him. But then yesterday, I just like, also like, I said, "What's up, bro?" The brother just like had his head up, like walking past <laughs> me, and I'm just like, it, and I'm like, I work here, which is the crazy part. But people still come here to buy weed and still like act like, you know. Yeah. I, so I think like that is the weird. But that's what that's the, the moon weird. thing was. Yeah. But like, I don't like. That's what my coworker said. He's like, too, "Yo, yeah. like the moon." But I'm like, bro, like people come in there weird. weird. But I'm like. Hockey, I don't understand. I feel like that shit is just embarrassing. Hockey like, going to somebody, you're still going into somebody's job, and even like me <laughs> saying like, you're like doing some shit like that, and you grown like, and we know mutual people. Like regardless, I know I might see you outside, but now I can, I will never like. I just feel like people are weird, but that's just some weird shit that that, that happened that kind of like started it off. But um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain like grown men, and I know he's older than me, so I don't know what it is. Fuck the club, nigga. But I got like party from other friends that I support, and I, you know what I'm saying, like that I do like, you know what I mean. I just don't, I don't. Know, I feel like just people get choose the wrong things to get offended, and they stick with it. Yeah. And it's like, yo, like we know people, like I don't know. I just feel like you never know how life goes. But I'm okay. I feel like now I'm okay with saying like fuck people, like yo, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Like, and it's not like I want you to do bad, but it's just like saying like if you're acting like that, I'm not gonna go out of my way to ever. Like get cool or try to get cool with you, or you know what I mean, or try to like talk my way out of that situation. So I don't know, but yeah, I, really I guess it's the moon. Like, I guess it's the moon. It might be, bro. But the whole club scene shit is weird. Like people do that shit every day from like Thursday to Sunday. I'm already seeing like um, sueños, like parties, like all these like parties for sueños fest. Have you guys? I don't know. It, it covers my feet a lot. Maybe because I follow a lot of Hispanics, but it's gonna be a pretty big festival this weekend. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I know, are, yeah, I know. I they're know. already like partying like now, which is what Wednesday. So it's like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like it's like the majority of the week you're partying. Like 
Which, I like, like I said, which is not bad, but it makes it a lot. If I if I even gave you a reason of why I don't do this or like why I probably haven't been there, mm-hmm. but then you, I don't know. I feel like you use that as a reason to get mad. It's like, bro, like you're offended by the wrong thing. Like this is not. Don't be offended that I'm not there, or be offended that like I literally told you why I could not be there. Like I have, I do this, I do this, and he's like, oh, but it was just people's energy, bro. Do you get offended if people don't come to your events, or like if you? Like when we had Effectus events, like and you invited people, did you feel the type of way? No, I don't care about even like with um, I don't know, just anything, right? Like I could, I'm not go, I can't like sit on it too long. In the moment, I can be whatever, but if I'm stuck on it too long or think about who's not here, I can't worry about who is here. You know what I mean? Like that goes with anything, even with um. Yeah, that's the perfect way to put it. I I, I can't. I can't worry about who's not who's not liking or even like on Instagram. If I'm not worried about y'all liking my pictures. Y'all are my homies. Y'all know me in real life. You know what I'm saying? Or like or even like giving me feedback on like or if I will put up a comfy fit post. I'm not like looking for y'all to be the first people to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all are people who are already around me, so y'all know me. Right. I want to reach the people who you aren't around me. me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I feel like in any situation, I just I think the best of it, I don't get offended. If nobody reshare, you know what I mean. If you don't, if you don't reshare, you don't reshare. But like, I don't get offended by that, or I don't get, you know what I mean. I feel like it's just two other things in like real life to be like to worry about, you know. How did you feel about it? Like, did you expect people to come that didn't come, or you just to the to the event? Yeah. Well, I that's why for me personally, I I put like low expectations for everything. <laughs> You don't expect anyone. No, to come. so I don't expect anyone to come. <laughs> so that way, like when Anything my friends positive. did come, I was like, "Wow, thank oh, you okay. so much." You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice. Yeah, um, I want to tell you guys a funny story. Come on. I um, this person sent me a message mm. on Instagram DM, and I'll read it to you right now. He said, "Hello." At- <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Can I use one of your pictures as mural art? I am currently on a project and you will be paid and reward, rewarded for it. Mm. And I said, thanks for considering my art, but I'd have to respectfully decline. Wow. And he said, I'm not using your art, though. I'm just using your pictures. That's the same thing. <laughs> and then I said, my pictures are my art. Dot, dot, dot. And he, he never replied. Nice. Thanks for going to share it just like that. It's just so funny, right? Yeah, that's cool. But it's like. People don't understand that that's like your medium. So yeah, why would I be okay with using using like my intellectual property? Yeah, for your benefit. But yeah. I'm glad he offered money. But I wonder. Yeah, you didn't ask what how Imagine much. Imagine he uh, said, "I'm gonna I'm gonna take these shits anyway." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, that's what I thought. What <laughs> if he's like, "I'm gonna just take these anyway"? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. But I think, yeah. um, fuck them. Yeah, it's just funny. Yeah. Yeah, people think like you know, like I always. Like, why say, would you ask if you didn't expect you to say no? Maybe. Yeah, I don't he know. He could still work with you in the future. I don't know. He's yeah. he's burning a bridge, you know. Yeah. By not replying. Yeah. I don't know, but I just thought it was funny and. Super funny. Yeah, interesting. And uh, the girl you fell in love with. Ah, what are you talking about? The event. <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you're blushing. Wherever you work in, I don't know if you work uh, for Red Bull, but holler at my guy, Jason. Was it love at first sight? Yeah. Maybe. Ah. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to encourage him to say something, but I get it. Nah. You're, you're working. Yeah, I don't know. We got to go back to a Red Bull event. <laughs> it's not a Red Bull. Oh, it is Red Bull event. <laughs> Unless she works for the Salt Shed. Uh, maybe. Was she, was, she, was she, you know what I'm saying? What? Was she giving you that energy back? I don't think so. You didn't have to ask her for anything? For tables or something? No, I don't. I don't I even know if she was right working now. there. Damn. Yeah. Hmm. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to you. <laughs> I, it's very rare where I see Jason blush. So, you think so? Wow, what did she that. say? <laughs> she, what the hell? she didn't say anything. She just looked like. <laughs> like um, <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways. <laughs> uh, did it make you want to wash your pants? No. How often are you supposed to wash them? Yeah, how else, how how often are you supposed to wash them because we were supposed to talk about that last that's a good question we were supposed to talk about that last episode but we never really went back Shut to it. maybe because i i wanted to say <laughs> i i 
I wash a pair of pants that I got like a month ago, maybe a couple months ago, and I can't wear them again because they're too shrunken. And <laughs> I didn't know that the high dry setting is gonna fuck Jeans. up your pants. What kind of denim is it? Denim? No, it's like just like normal jeans, like green color pants. Green they're like, khakis. They're like jean pants. You know what I'm uh, saying? Jean pants. <laughs> what? But they're not denim. And they're green. Ah, uh, they're kind of denim. You have green denim? No, but is like, it stretchable? No. Corduroy? No. I just feel like they're normal jeans, but they're just different. He said colors. denim. He said corduroy. I don't know. Maybe he's, it's both. Jean corduroy. Nah. Corduroy they're jeans. They're not corduroy at all. They're just jeans. I've corduroy seen, jeans sound I've crazy seen, as hell. There's yeah. some green jeans. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, just like just like a different color pants. You've you never know? seen green jeans? I've never seen green jeans. What do you mean? There are green pants everywhere. You know what I mean? I literally saw saw them on a uh, note today. Like awake green has jeans? awake has a collab with mm. yeah. Carhartt. They're green pants. It's a dark pants. green. Anyways. <laughs> Nice. Anyways, uh, yeah. So how do you? Well, guys- not nice because you can't wear well, them. Anymore. Yeah, not nice. There was this one time that my mom shrunk a Nivizu sweater that I had, Ooh. and it was like, um, what'd you say? Were it you was pissed? like wool. So you know that material like Heat. tightens really quick. When I put it on, I was so pissed, bro. Oh I God. instantly got it drenched. <laughs> And then I like You said got it drenched It wasn't coming back Yes it was I got it drenched I like I hooked one side To like the door And I like shut the door I think And then I just like Pulled on that bitch And then I like Clamped it to something else And I left it there For like a day Really? And then the next day In the other direction Like horizontal It worked? And then It uh, it got it to like I want to say 90% Back to what it was supposed to be But the hood was fucked up forever I couldn't even put the I remember what she t- was, it, was it It was a sweater you said? It was a red and easy sweater. Ah, I Bro, my mom, sh- she t- she washed it right before my birthday. Wow. And I was like, oh no, right after. Because I still got to Yeah, because you had it for your birthday. Yeah, yeah. But that sweater is legendary. I, I really liked it. That's crazy. I, I remember so that sweater. Post. So like, how Ooh, do you I'm guys sorry. save your clothes or keep them last longer? You have to dry Keep your pants really away from them shits. Them, keep your people I'm away from the pants. Your mamas. I don't wash my pants. Keep your mom's away is from that, home. Is that bad though? No, I think that I think like from what I've been asking, because I've been asking people after this incident, and people, most people say like they don't really wash their pants unless they have to. Especially like if you have a lot of salvage, I feel like when you wash you them, them, it's never the same. No, nah, but you soak them. That's the thing. You so soak you, them? Now you could soak them, or you could put them in the uh, freezer, or you could put them in the freezer. That's what I thought too. Like a freezer. I haven't washed. A l- I don't know when the last time I washed like actual soap. Like, well, not, not I'm saying, like, I haven't like done a wash. I haven't done a soak to none of my soap. Actually, the, my Naked and Famous has like this little rainbow. It was a 10th, like, the, the, whatever anniversary. I don't know if it was like 20 or whatever, yeah. or however long they've been around. Um, but they had like a little rainbow, like, selvage thing on the side. But that, my, those pants have aged. So those are almost 10 years old. Damn near. You never wash them? No. Wow. I probably yeah maybe like if anything once but nah I don't think I've touched That's those. That's so pants. interesting. I think if you wanted to you could steam them. Yeah, that might help. True. But true. Yeah, I, I get it. I'm gonna start not washing delicate. my pants maybe as much because sometimes I wash my pants a lot and I'm fucking it up. <laughs> yeah, you got another pants to wash and pants not to wash. Yeah, yeah like pants like that you could wash like yeah. nylon like. Yeah. Jeans, just I just, just don't have on. jeans no more that I could really wear. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I have a pair of Carhartts that I haven't worn yet, but they're like white. I was gonna dye them. Yeah, uh, I think it's time for some questions. Uh, questions, questions, questions for sure. Asking all them questions, questions, questions. Asking all them questions, questions. This questions. is a funny question that I, I like. This question. Questions, questions. Well, well, not. Just ask Who it. asked that question? You made that? Uh, someone asked it. Okay. In our, rep, our nice, database. Nice. So the question says, dun, dun, dun. Come on, zero out of 10. I can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> After you stop talking to a girl, how soon are you supposed to delete her nudes? If you had gotten them. Wow. Is that a thing? Mm. Like, well, I guess it is a thing because the next girl... I can see that. I, I know a lot of like, um, like I remember just like dickhead friends that I used to have that I'm not friends with anymore that would just have like girls nudes on their shit like long oh. after they talked to them. Oh. Um, but for the most part, I think 
you could only you should only that's so weird i don't know i was gonna say you should you should definitely <laughs> delete them when you have a girl oh yeah but you, you should delete them long before that right like you should delete it depends them. if y'all still talk. see that that's the detachment that's the detachment part. i guess do girls you should have nudes ask, too right do girls save nudes too i'm, I'm sure know. bro yeah. yes yes i know for a fact they do I think, I think if she gives you permission to keep them, then it's okay. What if there's? What if she doesn't say anything? You have to ask. <laughs> like, hey, do you? Would you mind if I deleted your news? Have you ever done that before? You would ask. You have would you ask done that her? before though? No, but they've also <laughs> never told me to delete them either. <laughs> exactly. But I just deleted them. Oh, really? Yeah. Not recently. Like this is a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like that's what I did in the past. So is that what you what <laughs> most people, <laughs> is that what people should do though? Delete them. That's what they should do, mm. because you should only get nudes from girls that you're currently hooking up with. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Interesting question. It is. If I pull one out from like, say like, oh yeah, because it is questionable. And I can't pull one out. And be like, yo, you, I, I had this about fifty years right. ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, like nah. yeah, at that, that point, weird. it's like, well, that's different. That's so long ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but then you get into like sex tapes and shit too. And like, that's another dark alley that we don't go down because we're user friendly. <laughs> this evil ass question. That's just crazy. We're trying to get us canceled. <laughs> Divergent sixty four asked, "What cartoon world would you like to live in?" Mm. Mm. I'm going to live. I'm taking. Put me in um cartoon world. All in Texas. What? King of the Hill, baby. Oh. Uh, or I go to um. I go to Springfield. I'm trying to base it off like a food that I wanted to eat in a cartoon really bad. I said like Jimmy Neutron or something like. I like that type of stuff. The ice cream when he threw it back up. That was funny. Or like the little gob stopper, like the candy, the purple one. Um, I can't think of. I'm trying to think of cartoon food. What about you, Jason? Anime that you want to be in? Not that it, it has to be an anime. I guess I'd do a food eating anime, too. Oh, like that orgasmic one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The food just it's so, so funny. Good. You've, you've heard of that show? No, I was just going to say, is the plot, the food is so good that it makes you orgasm? Kind of, yeah. And that's the plot of the show? No, but... It's like it's a like cooking a, school. It right? has like a... Yeah, it's like a student, like, school, academy, like, like competition type of, mm. like, chef show. But it's funny because that is a part of it, but it's, it's not really, like, the main factor. Okay. Yeah, but they do, mm. like, obnoxiously orgasm. When they're eating the food, <laughs> I was gonna try to do it. Yeah, I don't. I'm not, I've never been the type that could like moan like that. Like you know, like you a lot of do guys it right that, now. I was gonna do it, <laughs> but it's just like not in my character to do it. You guys yeah. know guys that moan like randomly, like sexually. David does it. Yeah, he's the only person I know that really do it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, a. Yeah. I could see Caleb doing it. I don't know. No, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. Why would you think Caleb? I don't know why I keep talking about it. All right. We have another question from Aurora. She asked, what is your definition of a per- perfect life? It's pretty pretty deep there. A perfect life. Huh? asking you that? Nice. Yeah, okay. Everybody. She could ask me at home. She answer the question. But she's not. She's asking you here. <laughs> uh, perfect life? I don't know. I don't even know if that's a thing that should be real. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. once you have perfect life, well, maybe that's like the downfall of like your life. You know what I'm saying? That's when you need to end it. No. What? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's when you need to like gradually like. You have to always try to achieve for something. Yeah. So you can't ever like this is perfect, you know, like I think this like this exact moment that we're in is perfect because we'll never reach what we want to reach. But we will, but we won't, you know, like we're always going to want more. I think that's how I look at it. I think we got to accept that. Yeah, but 
what are some things I guess that would make that more perfect? More perfect. Uh, financially stable. Yeah, financially stable. Yeah, not uh, working for anybody. Yeah, working for your, working for myself. My mom, like my family's good. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah, how, don't have to. As far as far as anything, like you don't have to worry about. I mean, I've never wanted it for anything in general. You know what I mean? Like my mom was like, my family's never allowed us to do that. But just making sure they're okay. Like all the, like I said, financial problems and things that stress people out. Like all that shit goes away. Um. Yeah, that business, like having my own shit, like my family, like yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's just that. It's really just business and family. Like, of course, I want my own stuff too, but it's like, what else? I can if I can buy everything I want to buy, then I'm cool. You know what I mean? But as long as my household is good, like my base, and then where I'm where I'm spending the most of my time, like working, and then this is like that's good enough for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Same Z's. Did you guys get any questions? No, but I was that was a random question I was looking at because I saw an Instagram post about ice cream. Like this Japanese brand made ice cream that was like one little like gourmet scoop for like six thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. supposed to be like the best ice cream. I mean I always see like future trying out or not uh, future, that's two chains. Yeah. Trying like the most, <laughs> the most expensive, expensive stuff. Thing. But I could never spend that much. That's crazy. But what if... You think it's good? Yeah. $6,000? Hell yeah. It better be good. You do it? Maybe. What kind of ice cream is it? I don't know. As long as it's got some type of berry. It it literally looked like, you know, those like spoon spoon uh, scoops? Yeah. yeah. Like they do in like fancy restaurants? Yeah. Mm. It looks like that. Mm. So it doesn't even seem like that much ice cream? Sometimes Papa is more it's about experience more than that money. Yeah, that's what that I'm money, saying. That money will come back. Yeah. yeah. Ask me again when I'm rich. <laughs> you are rich. Yeah. Ask here. me again when I have more money. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, great question, guys. Thank you for participating. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Mm. All right, guys. Oh, it's kind of... Yeah, kind of tweets up. me out a little bit. I've been sober. Not saying yeah, the pin hasn't this been whole working. Episode. New pod, well, new oh, wow. Space. I feel clear. I feel good. New but space. shit, yep. I miss that dope smoke. I miss that dope smoke. We'll always smoke. We'll just try it. We'll try it one time or before. We'll get around it. What's, the, okay. what's the smoke? What's the thing that sucks up the smoke? The air? It's not a vacuum. I mean, it's it a, is a vacuum. It is a vacuum. They did it on um, Friday. Yes, that's what I was thinking of when he was he grabbed one to You're his gonna get a shit. vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it'd be funny. We could design like a long ass pipe that goes out the window and then it comes up to here and we just blow it in. I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to get used to that. That's just like the movement of This became a sober podcast, guys. We did it. We'll have to start drinking. Look, look, look. We'll try we'll it. Drinking. We'll try it for like twenty five episodes. If it doesn't Shit. improve, twenty five. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we'll uh, we'll go back to smoking. We'll figure it out, guys. It's okay. All right. I want to say thank you for listening to another amazing episode. I got some of the best co-hosts. I love them very much. They're uh, they're the best in the world. And you know, this is the friendliest podcast in the world. Follow us at User Friendly Podcast. Where can they find you, Squared? Squared Hill everywhere. Jason. J-A-S dot out of order on Instagram. And you'll have new things online? Yeah, I'm going to have updated website sometime soon. I'm going to have nothing online for a while, but PowsPrints.com. If you want to follow me at PowsPrints, where can they find you, Squared? Uh, if you want to follow the comfiest, I mean, like I said, Squared Hill everywhere, but yes, C-M-F-Y-F-I-T-T-S. Comfy fits. Comfy fits. What is that? I see all the, the, ice cream. the New Yorkers. Hmm. They 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 fucking with the comfy. That's the ice cream. That does look good. This is the ice cream that costs six thousand dollars. It does look good. The baller in me will say fuck it. Yeah. And then I will wake up the next day and be like, damn. What kind of dad would that make me though, bro? Like if, if I spent six thousand dollars on the ice could, cream. But if you could, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't have anything to do with you being a father. I feel like that's six thousand that could have gone to my kid. 
But at the, I feel like at that point, if you're spending six thousand on ice cream, you're then making. Then I'll be spending more money. Like you're making, yeah, you're making it back. I like right. you have no issue at that point. Like oh, this is six thousand dollars. Like <laughs> you saying yeah. You saying that now because we don't have six thousand dollars. Be like yeah, like a spare six thousand dollars. <clears throat> no, I gotta get in that mindset. I think that's what's holding me back. I gotta believe. All right, guys, Thank play you. that funky beat. Don't don't don't. don't. Come on. The ice cream Come is topped off by an edible gold leaf. Two stop. types that's of cheese. Two yeah, types of cheese on ice cream. And a paste like ingredient don't derived don't from the process of sake on. making. Mm. And white truffles. See, Jason usually mm. sounds like the, the, the cheap the cheap uh the cheap dad who cooks food. Today, <laughs> oh yeah, that guy the Irish sound, chef. Yeah, but today you sound like a baller. <laughs> like that. You're a real baller. Shot caller. You're a baller like Jack Harlow was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like so, okay Carla. so what i didn't understand about that movie also is that they showed him get get hurt a little bit in the beginning like oh my knees and then he, was still and then he kept playing and it didn't happen again it's, it's AC, what his acl he kept playing though like throughout the whole movie he they showed that part where he was fucked up but like but he kept playing after yeah he kept playing after. yeah but it's i mean like he wasn't playing his full capability? Yeah. Oh, not. that's mm-hmm. what they're trying to protect. And his girl was fine in that too. That's the girl from uh from Intergalactic. Intergal- I knew it. I said that shit. She has the same face. It's yeah. so crazy. He did say that. Yeah. That's gone. That. That's kinda of funny. Oh my god, that was ridiculous though. Man. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, whoa. Hold on. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What an interesting movie.